Hello and welcome to a new video about my studio light. I want to display the IP address. Of course I could do a static IP address as well. However, I want to, I want to present the IP address to a user because I have a display. I want to try. <laughs> so I try it with this. What, which display do I have? Well, this one. Yeah? Look at that. This is the display I'm going to use. It's an 0.93, I think, inch, almost one inch um, OLED, organic LED uh, display, and I want to use it. It has four pins, plus, minus for power supply, and then we have this SCL and SDA pins. So it's a bus protocol from there. So it already looks like we would need a, a library, of course. But before we use the library, we have to connect it in a certain way. So plus and minus is hopefully clear. Uh, I'm going to use 3 to 3 volt here for plus, of course, because I'm using ESP32. So that's plus. Good. Minus. Ground. Okay, here we go. And then I have a problem. Ah, not really a problem, but these SDL and SCL lines are here 30, uh, 21 and 22. And of course I'm using one of them as output. Yeah? So I am now switching the output to what is this? 25. Why not? And I'm using here 22 and 21. This is 21, the green one is 21. 21 is the clock line, I think. Twenty one is SDA, the data line, SDA and twenty-two here, clock is the clock line for the bus. SCL. Okay. And now they say that's the hardware setup. Alright. So let's try this. Let's try this. Let's program this. Alright. So at the computer, we are going to use a library because I honestly don't know how this is connected. I2C, okay, it's an I2C protocol. However, there are libraries out there and I'm using a library which is from Adafruit uh, and it's called SSD 1306 because it's a SSD 1306 display. Yeah, so I am opening now the managed libraries, the library manager and shall look for this SSD 1306 SSD 13.06, this one, latest version, yes, install. Would you like to install all the missing dependencies? Yes, install all. This is good. So we have installed this now. And actually, there are for sure, there are for sure some demos, examples. Where is this? SSD. That's the correct one. Ah, just uploaded. Is everything correct? I will just upload this and look what is happening. Nothing. Hmm. 
No. Hello. Hmm. This is not working. Maybe it's the display. Ah, maybe it's the address. Ooh, maybe it's the address. Where is the address? Address. What is written here? Seven B. Seven B. That's prob That's probably the case. Here is the address, and I think I have to adopt it. I'm not sure. Is it? No. No, so it's not that easy. Use a different panel. Oh, it's called 7.8. It's called, I think it's called 7.8, not 7B. Here it looks like 7, 7B or 7.8. Oh, let's try it. Let's try 8 as well. There's nothing to lose, right? And if I cannot manage now, uh, then I will try to find there is a there is a thing there's a thing called uh, I2C monitor and then I will have a look what addresses we can find. Doesn't look too good. I hope this is even the correct Correct panel. Ah, it's always the same. No, nothing. All right, so let's open another example. I do see. Wire. Here we have something. File new. Cope with this. Upload. I don't need save. Three C. It's three C. I think it was already written, right? Three C. Upload this again. Yes. Look. Something is happening. All right. So it is working. So it is working. It is working. I just have to find out how to how to 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 print. All right, finally. So that's it. 3C. 3C is the address. It's good that there is printed 7B or 7A at the end. That's that's a nice print. Yeah, it's just confusing. Or okay, so we got this display working, huh? and now we'll. I will start 
last version. And I will try to understand how this code is working. Yes. This I will do. And this I will show you in the next video. Alright? For this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.